Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, episode. Today we're going to set the payload in the two center points of the dual gripper. This procedure can only be done on the Universal Robot E-Series because of the force torque sensor that is uh, directly into the robot. So first of all, we're going to set the payload using the wizard of the installation tab of the Universal Robot. So I'm just going to click on the wizard tab. Um, basically what we have to do is to uh, set four different positions in order uh, to set the, 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 the weight, uh, the payload uh, of the grippers. So I'm going to set the first position then go on for the second one. The third one. And finally, fourth one. So uh, the payload of the dual gripper setup is 2.42 kilograms. You can see that the center of gravity is, uh, is uh, uh, one millimeter in the X direction, zero in the Y direction, and Z is uh, 59 millimeter. Um, so that's it for the payload uh, setting. So now what we're going to do is set the tool center point. So the tool center point is the, the point where uh, you want to grasp any type of object. In that situation, we will have uh, two center points. So let's start uh, with the first one. What I usually do is refer to the table that we have at the end of our uh, instruction manual of each product. Um, it's uh, fairly simple. You just look into the table and look for, in that case, dual ND. Um, so in this situation, the uh, first gripper will have a TCP of uh, 154 millimeter in the X direction, zero in the Y direction, and 138 into the Z direction. So I'm just gonna enter that into the installation tab. Uh, so that's it for the first gripper and then I will add another gripper and then rename the, the TCP just to make sure there's no confusion. Once again I will look into the table into the instruction manual um, and as we can see the dual ND is minus 154 into the x direction, zero into the y direction, and 138 into the z direction. So I'm just gonna enter those value into the installation tab. And that's it. So we just set the payload of the dual gripper and the TCP of both grippers. So uh, we can now go on with the with the programming of the dual gripper. Um, oh, this was helpful and uh, see you next time. <laughs>